from Angel City, the three-part docuseries premieres May 16th on HBO and HBO Max. Congrats on the show, but not just the show. Congrats on this team. It's amazing. Um, it's an amazing success being a part owner of Angel City FC. It's amazing watching the show, seeing what you built. Tell everybody about the show and why they should tune in. Well, the show documents starting a team from scratch. I mean, we really just had to, like, figure out how to build from the ground up. And um, I saw my son watching the Women's World Cup with the same kind of rabid fandom that he watched the Men's World Cup. And I was like, whoa, this is a revolution if kids can look up to female athletes in the same way that they look up to male athletes. And so we started a team, and the docuseries covers, like, how do you start a team yeah. that doesn't exist before? And well, I mean, take me back to the original idea. What was the, where did it come from of putting the Angel City team together? How did it come together? Well, I saw how popular these women are. They're already enormous stars, and it's the most popular sport in the world. We have the best players in the world in the US, but then their home teams, no one was yeah. even aware they existed, and there wasn't a team in LA, so we were like, why don't we start one, which I didn't realize was as crazy an idea until we started doing it. <laughs> we're like, whoa, this is actually really, really hard. But it's amazing how successful, the, 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 attendance, the attendances have, have been extraordinary at the stadium, right? Yeah, we're sold out every game, and it's the best. <laughs> I'm so happy. It's brilliant. I mean, when we did our carpool karaoke, which is iconic, you <laughs> took me to your family home yeah. and your bedroom. I met a spider. It was terrifying. <laughs> uh, and I was in the bedroom where you and Phineas, you know, made your albums. Now, you've since moved home. Where are we making this new music? Are you still cramming yourself into a tiny room? No. Or are you now in a huge studio bathing in champagne? Well, definitely not that, mm -hmm. but <laughs> um, we've been making music in my brother's studio, which is in the basement of his house, which is, it doesn't like seem like a basement, it just happens to be a basement. Mm. But um, that's where we made the last record, um, and then we've been, we've been doing it again. It's very different, though, this time. I mean, it's, it's, it's sh proven to be uh, different every single time. So it's weird. It's like shh, every every time I'm like, okay, I got it. I know exactly how to do this this time. You know, it worked last time. Yeah. I'm gonna do it again, and I just I can never recreate anything. Well, you shouldn't. You shouldn't. You shouldn't try to. Exhausting. You should constantly evolve. Is yes. there ever? You know, Natalie Portman has an extraordinary voice. Uh, <laughs> no. <laughs> I've heard you sing. I've heard you sing. Is there any? <laughs> would you ever allow? Maybe when we're just you know dining over some sort of. Vegan Couscous. nut roast. <laughs> we, could, um, <laughs> we could, Natalie Portman and I could add some BVs. Oh, yeah. That stands for backing I, vocals. Thank you for yeah. telling me. Yeah, 100%. I know a lot about the music biz. Yeah, pull mm. up. Would you allow us to come in and just. Ooh. Maybe her. <laughs> I never thought this would be Maybe the day we'd fall out. Maybe her. <laughs> Look, listen, I'm going to come in with a note. You come in on the top. You come okay. around the top, okay? okay. It's gonna, this is going to be brilliant. So okay, like, imagine these BVs. I'm like... I'm picturing it. 